coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Flirty to certify expand production of the Flirty Eagle drone delivery system. Also, look out below. ASR tests a next generation airframe parachute system. And pulling out all the stops, DJI FPV drone promises extensive capabilities. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a packed episode today, so let's go ahead and start with Flirty to certify expand production of the Flirty Eagle drone delivery system. Flirty has completed the technology to certify and expand U.S. production of its drone delivery system for last mile delivery. The aircraft designer and manufacturer's technology includes the Flirty Eagle, an advanced drone that conducts precision delivery to homes and businesses. The Flirty Portal, a takeoff and landing platform that conducts scalable operations for storefronts, and Flirty's autonomous software platform that conducts autonomous flight operations. Flirty's development was led by the head of NASA's program to fly drones over people and first unveiled at the National Press Club in Washington, D.C. Flirty now has more than 1,000 patents, claims across a portfolio of granted and provisional patents, and has conducted more than 6,000 flights to date. The company implemented a parachute system that can safely deploy from the delivery altitude. The aircraft lowers packages on a tether, enabling safe and precise drone delivery to homes and businesses. This marks completion of the Flirty Eagle drone delivery system for FAA type certification. Coming up after these messages, the FAA has selected five airports for diverse testing environments. I'll explain after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at swiftfuelsavgas.com. Welcome back. In the next and main minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. FAA selects five host airports to test and evaluate UAV detection and mitigation. The FAA has selected five host airports to evaluate technologies and systems that could detect and mitigate potential safety risk posed by unmanned aircraft. The effort is part of the agency's Airport Unmanned Aircraft Systems Detection and Mitigation Research Program. These airports meet FAA requirements for diverse testing environments and represent airport operating conditions found across the United States. The research will lead to the implementation of new technologies that will make airports safer for passengers and manned aircraft. Certification and safety lead EAA FAA virtual summit topics. General aviation safety, aircraft certification, and the Mosaic Initiative were among the numerous topics discussed as top officials from EAA and the FAA wrapped up the three day winter recreational aviation summit. Again, held in a virtual format based at EAA headquarters. In addition to a number of sport and general aviation topics, other topics on the robust agenda included drones and airspace, aircraft certification and maintenance regulations, airport operations, and more. Philocopter raises $240 million. 
Bullocopter announced the signing of their Series D funding round raising 200 million euros in additional capital. Cumulatively, Bullocopter has raised 322 million euros. The funding will be used to bring the Willow City, the battery-powered air taxi for cities, to certification and by accelerating the launch of its first commercial routes. Volocopter's future services range from electric autonomous air taxis flying passengers directly and safely to their destinations to transporting goods with the company's Volo drone. Now this is an intriguing partnership. The FAA and Choctaw Nation team up to advance UAS. The FAA is partnering with Choctaw Nation to study how UAS can best transport cargo, including parcels at lower altitudes. The FAA's Mike Monroney Aeronautical Center signed a three-year memorandum of understanding with the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma. The agreement will enable the MMAC to work with the Choctaw Nation to study human factors, supply chain management, and air traffic control. The parties will use virtual simulated urban environments for their research. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Look out below ASR Test's next generation airframe parachute recovery system. A forerunner of systems that may become standard equipment on future unmanned and autonomous vehicles, Aviation Safety Resources Inc. has successfully completed the first developmental test of its whole aircraft parachute recovery system for the electrically powered eFlyer 2. Larry Williams, ASR President and CEO, said initial testing was completed at a drop range test facility outside Henderson, Nevada. This test was the first in a series of tests to qualify the eFlyer parachute system to ASTM standards and make sure the canopy will withstand the load put on it, he said. In accordance with ASTM requirements for limit load testing, barrels were filled with water to represent the weight of the aircraft. This was the first development test in a series of tests that were dropped from a helicopter 6,600 feet and accelerated to a maximum speed at which the system will be deployed. Everything was perfect, Williams said. So far, we are getting the results we expected. The next series will advance to ultimate load testing where we will drop 1.15 times the maximum weight and speed for the E-Flyer 2 by exceeding the rated weights and speeds. This provides a critical 1.5 times safety factor in accordance with the ASTM and FAA requirements. After the break, DJI has launched a new type of drone that you're going to want to check out. Details after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working and you're going to hear more about it. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. DJI is pulling out all the stops with an FPV drone with extensive capabilities. DJI has launched a new type of drone, 
an FPV drone that combines the first-person view and performance of racing drones, the camera capabilities of traditional drones, and an optional, innovative single-handed motion controller that allows pilots to control the drone with just hand movements. The DJI FPV ecosystem includes the drone, goggles, a dedicated remote controller, and a new intuitive motion controller option that steers the drone based on the movement of your hand. The drone features high-performance motors for incredible speeds, an intuitive user interface, and the latest safety features for greater control. The new FPV system lets pilots see from the drone's perspective in low latency, high definition thanks to O3, the third iteration of DJI's OcuSync technology. It can capture smooth and stable 4K video at 60 frames per second with the assistance of Rocksteady electronic image stabilization. DJI FPV safety features include a new emergency brake and hover feature to help make flying safer and less intimidating for new users, as well as DJI's suite of industry-leading safety solutions, including GPS-based geofencing to advise pilots for airspace restrictions and potential hazards, and an ADS-B receiver system to warn pilots when other manned aircraft are nearby. That does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube. You can also catch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.